Okay, so this time, let's see what happens if we don't take the pumpkin. I think we just get stuck. Don't get anywhere without me, just so you know. Ah, okay. You have to take the pumpkin, you're forced to. How do you know my name? I asked you a question, how do you know my name? And for this, I remembered her name. I remembered your name, Lisette. Lisette I, you filthy liar. No, Lisette I just... Wait, Lisette! Lisette, I just want to understand you. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't want to be here. I didn't want them to shatter. I don't want any of this. I don't want to be here. I don't want to wake up. All you do is hide. You filthy coward. You have no right to be here. Get out, get out, get out. You like crying on your own that much? No, I... I didn't mean to cry. You never mean anything you do, do you? I do. I do, but... You just need to believe in yourself for once. What a... I don't know what to do. Ah, now her pay, too. Remember, my girl, what have you come here to do? Or pay. You're right. I have to keep going. What's that? I just want to... Help me? No? Yes. The good ending, we have to choose yes. Brick mirror.
What's that? I finally found you. You're... You're Lissette, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you tired of making a fool of yourself? What? What do you expect to gain from all this? What more could you ever want from me at this point? I said that's not what I... Then what is it? You always say no. You always say this isn't what you meant to do. Then what is it? What is it you meant to do when you read that letter? <laughs> that's what you are. You're nothing but a filthy hypocrite. You know set. I'm not. <laughs> Did Rapay tell you so? I envy you. I too would like to play innocent and escape. Just like you. You're right, Lisette. That is all I've done until now. That's not all you've done, you filthy liar. Lisette, shut up! What have you come here to do? To act like Flood and scorn me? Or act like her pay and scold me? No, Lisette. I came here to understand you. Why is there to understand? What is there to understand? I wanted to see you with my own eyes. Not Flood or her pays. Liar. I don't want to hide behind their backs anymore. I want to understand you and to understand myself. Is that so? Then what about that little angel of yours? Are you going to try and understand her too? I'm not going to fall for it. Except listen, I'm tired of listening to the likes of you. Don't act like you're ready to atone for your sins. How pitiful can you get? I don't understand. Of course you don't. You'll never understand any of this. You're as hopeless as I am, don't you see? There's no way out. You're going to lose to him no matter how hard you try. Why bother? No. Give me the pocket mirror. I will end it for us so you won't have to. Give it to me. No. You ignorant child. How selfish can you be? Why won't you put me out of my misery? Why do you keep holding on to that ridiculous curse? You do not understand what Elise did to you? Stop holding on to her words and let that pocket mirror go. No! I will not give up. I may not know who I am. And just like you said, I may not understand anything. Stop pretending. But I want to know. Who I am, who you are, and what I'm doing here. Righteous of you. No, I'm not righteous at all. I'm just a coward. I'm nothing but a coward. I couldn't save Fleta or her pay. I locked you away along with my secrets. All I ever did was pretend and even in jail. You and I might just be part of this delusion. Zet. This might all have been useless. And I may lose to him in the end, or even give in to you. But I... don't... I said just for a little longer, let me... I'm not the one you want to say those words to. I said, I really am the worst in you. Thank you, Lisette. Hmm. 
I'm here, Lisette. I finally found you. You know my name? Although I can't hear it, I can tell. I said I... I just want to tell you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lisette. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lisette. I'm so sorry I did this to you. Please forgive me. It will atone for my sins in your stead, all of them. I just... I wish I could have gotten to know you. Me too. What's that? Before I go, I... I want to tell you that I love you. I love you just as much as Harpe and Fleta. I should let you rest. Thank you, Lisette, for everything you've done for me. I won't forget you. Thank you. Ah, Lisette's regalia. Knee sneer. Okay, so that's all of them. So let's get the, I guess, the good ending. One of the good endings. Alright, so now we should should be able to see all of everybody entering their rooms. But uh or pay. Angel. Time, Angel. Yes. Oh, Angel. I can't believe we're finally together. Yes. I'm so glad I can finally meet you. Me too. I'm glad you got here safely. Yes, me too. This is where you've been all this time? Yes, it's a pretty disgraceful place to be, don't you think? I've been trapped here ever since I can remember. I've tried looking for exits, but haven't gotten too far. I see. But we're together now, right? I'm sure we'll make it out of here. You're really positive, aren't you? Of course. I finally found you, right? Now I don't have to be afraid anymore. Right? Well then, let's go. I'm sure we'll be able to find an exit now that we're together. Yes. Ah, and we have noticed that now the name in the save file is only missing one letter. So 
The more girls we save, the more of the name reveals itself. Ah, pumpkins are talking. There are pumpkins here too? Yes, there are. What about them? They never say anything. It's because you never tried to talk to us in the first place. What? Oh, see? Most pumpkins are really nice once you talk to them. That's the truth right there, miss. That's so? Anyway, we should... Hey, do you two girls want to hear a joke? We'd love to. Right, Joe? Oh, uh... Yes, why not? Alright, then here it goes. Can you tell me what is the most musical bone? The most musical bone? What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? A trombone. That's so funny. Get it? It's the trombone. I don't get it. It's alright if you don't have a sense of humor. I won't judge. Let's go, Angel. Yes, let's. What about you? What about me? I don't understand why you like them so much. They're funny. Hmm. What, am I supposed to say something? What was that you said about them being nice? The ones I meant weren't as angry as these ones. I'm tired of faking it. The cheerful pumpkin stereotype simply doesn't fit me. It sure is calm around here. I wish we could live in a more exciting place. What are you two staring at? I may have no legs, but that doesn't give you the right to stare. We're sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. We didn't mean to bother you. Just leave it be, Angel. Let's go. Leave me be. Okay, so the pumpkins change, it's ending. And Joe? And Joe, are you alright? Don't worry, Angel, it's alright. I need some time on my own. I'm going in ahead. Joe! A path? Maybe I should give her some time. Okay, so nothing changed again. Same cutscenes. What she say this time? And Joe, you need to tell me what's going on. What do you mean, and Joe? Where have you been? I was worried about you. I'm sorry I left without you earlier. I saw your reflections. You're not who you say you are. What, and Joe? Are you all right? You know that's not my name. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? I know who you are. What? Please, Angel, don't lie to me. I'm not. I've never lied to you. Have you met him? Is that it? No. You've met him, haven't you? You're the one who's been lying to me from the beginning. Angel, don't call me that. Why are you doing this? Because I want to accept you, Angel. What? I know you're not truly part of me. And I know what you want from me. Angel, that's absurd. But I still want to accept you. 
There's no need for us to be enemies. So please, please come with me. Enjoy your mistaken. Don't call me that. That's not who I am, Angel. I want you to have a place to belong. So please come with me. We can be together, Angel. I don't need pity from the likes of you. Give me what I want now. No, Angel, I won't. Give me the pocket mirror. Uh-oh. Same run as before. Run, 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 run. Ooh. This should be where it diverges into two different endings. Ah! A uh, pocket mirror belongs to me. Alright, so for one ending, we have to have her reach it before we do. Finally got it! <laughs> it's mine! Joe, give it back! Give it back? What did you ever do to deserve this toy of yours, hmm? I've earned it unlike you. Give me back my pocket mirror, Angel. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, it does now. It's finally in my grasp where it belongs. I'm finally free. That's enough, Angel. Give it back. Can't you see? You've lost, Missy. This is my ticket out of this place. I can finally live. I can live! Angel! Silence! Look at yourself. All that struggling, making a fool of yourself over and over, and for what? Angel! We're different. You've always been different. Give it back, Angel. Angel, what have you... I do owe you my gratitude, Missy. Hadn't you been so naive, I wouldn't have... Oh. Angel! No, no, how could you? And Joe, calm down, we can still be to get... I could, you demon. After all I've done. No, not like this. What are you standing there for? Help me. And Joe, I don't know... Not like this. I don't want to... Live. And Joe. I'll remember you, Angel. I will remember all of you. Ah. All the regalias. And the true name is on the door that just opened. Goldia. Michael Report. Goldia, Dihirlidge. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's no... Okay. Um... Social status, hair of healage. Family deceased. Um... What else can we make out? Dementia? Lunacy. Can't make out the last thing. Hmm. Golden framed mirror stands in the corner, perpetually reflecting its surroundings. 
The door is closed. It's porcelain knob, polished and shiny as can be. Pure white sheets lie on the bed, carefully embroidered with the finest gold thread. Window. Ending number two, Dawn. Okay, so this time, let's actually get there ourselves. We just have to absolutely book it. She's the same speed as us. No! Aha. Ah, so it's not broken. The thing is, so the mirror on the right's not broken this time. And Joe! No! Stay away! Can't do this! Give me back what's mine! Come with me, Angel. I'm not going anywhere! I don't want your pity. I want to accept you. Accept me? I don't need any of that. Angel, don't be stubborn. I don't need your acceptance. I don't want your sympathy. I'm trying to help you. Angel, I want to take you away from this place. You give me that pocket mirror. You've seen it, haven't you? You know what I want. All you have to do is give it to me. It's not the answer, Angel. What do you suggest, then? Getting accepted by you? Yes. I want you to leave this place with me, Angel. What for? You can drop your little righteous act now. It's not an act, Angel. We can both live together. And why should I believe you? I believed him and we can both see where that took me. I'm not him, Angel. You know me, even if we didn't have much time, I... I want to be together, Angel. I lost my chance. No, you didn't. We can still... Yes, I did. I did lose it, and the moment I... You didn't, Angel. You have me. We have each other, don't we? But I'm not... You saw it. He showed you what I did. And I forgive you. I forgive you, Angel, so please, come with me. You're too kind for your own good. No, Angel. I'm sorry. We're trying to deceive you. I don't even know your name. But we know yours. Come with me, Angel. Let's be together. I'll be waiting, then. You to come tell me your name. I will, Angel. Ah, so that's how to get her regalia. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Mommy, mommy! Holy, be careful. Look what I found.
Oh, the red shoes. Aren't they pretty? I found them in the garden. Oh my! I think we had such a thing hidden in our garden. Can I wear them? Can I? Can I? They're too big for you. And can we keep them? Can we? Mommy will keep them for when you get older, is that alright? Yes! Hmm... Come on in now, let's have some tea. Thing number three, little goody two shoes. Okay. So this should be the normal. Well, it's not the good ending, but it's normal ending because the harpe has some tricky choices. This is the first ending that I think most people probably get. And Joe! There you are. I was worried about you, Angel. Actually, there's something I want to ask you. I know, Angel. I know what you're going to say. Angel, what happened to you? I want to ask you the same thing. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm... I'm scared, Angel. He's tricked you, hasn't he? Angel, listen. No. I can't believe you let him fool you. After all I did for you. This isn't fair, Angel. Please don't call me that. What else am I supposed to call you? Please, Angel. This is just another one of his tricks, can't you see? Come with me. We can be together like we used to. I'm sure you'll remember everything when you give me the... No! Yes. I'm here to help you, Angel. But well, please, even if we can't become whole again like before, at least we can be together. Please, Angel. You have to believe me. I don't. Then what? You'd rather believe him? Is that it? You don't know what he's like. Look on my hand, Angel. This is what he's capable of. If you go to him, he's going to... I'm not going to meet him, Angel. Angel? But I can't bring myself to believe you either. I know my name isn't Angel. I'm not part of you. Never was. Because he told you so? No, I just... You just what? I just don't know who you are. Please, I need you to tell me what's going on. I, at first, I didn't know Harpe or Fleda or Lisette, but... They weren't complete strangers to me. The more I got to know them, the more I remembered about them. I'd forgotten about them somehow, but now I know they've always been here with me. Not you, Angel. I've never known you. You were never... You want to know who I am? I am you, Angel. And you are me. No. Oh. I, I don't know who you are, but I'm not... Uh oh Tell me, then. Who are you? I don't know. You don't know? And who's going to tell you, hmm? Did Harpe? Did she guide you like I did? Was she honest with you? And Joe? What about Flutter or that rag doll of hers? Did those two wait for you here like I did all alone? And Joe, stop! How about Lisette? Did she tell you your name? Did she sacrifice herself for you like I did? And Joe, that's. What did any of them ever do for you, And Joe? Enough! I forgive you, Angel. What? All you want is to be together, I understand. Yes, but what is this all of a sudden? That's what you said, Angel. 
That was the answer we've been looking for all this time. Angel, what are you... Come with me, Angel. Let us part. Hmm. Where am I? So bright. Welcome, Angel. You're... The Shining One, Platinum. My name is Platinum. No, you're... I'm so glad to have you here with us, Angel. Oh? What are you doing? Get away from me! There's no need to shut, Angel. Don't touch me. I have to thank you. You've helped me find our home, our reason. What are you talking about? Come, Angel. You can be at peace with me here, with us. I will protect you. No, stop. I will keep you safe from him. After all, you're part of me, aren't you? As you've always been. Ending number one, Platinum. To get the blue key, the second one, you have to get the wax record here on floor two. This blue door over here. That's how to get the secret ending, is to open this. To get the first key, you have to go with Fleta to the library, and you have to read the book to the very end on the right bookshelf. And then look in the back of the book to get the first one. Second key, you have to get that Wex record, come all the way back down here, I believe immediately. Third record. Yep. Do not wait. Listen to the third record because you will lose the chance to get the blue key, I found out. And the next key is after you go to the party and you get locked up in that room. Okay. So, in order to get the last blue key, you have to point a certain way in this room after you read the note. And there is another book. that we have to read. This will give us X record in the photo. Went the other way though, to the right. They give us the book. The Memories of a Forgotten Boy by Henry Dihirilich. Open the book. Completely blank from start to finish. Blue key. There's the third one. Now, we just have to get out of here. And go back up to the blue door.
first key was Flutter, second key with the right room here, and then you have to go directly down and listen to it, or else it won't count and won't give you the key. And then the third one is the one we just got. So now we have all three keys to open up this room. Ah, so this is Henry's room. The mirror's surface is dull as though covered in a thick layer of dust. Charm. Shred to pieces, but these say... That foolish mother of mine. After all you've done, yet you still... Think that poor girl's... Hmm. Cry out her name. Rosamarine, Rosamarine. All I could hear were your cries and his impish laughter. A hardwood dresser, it's every drawer completely vacant. There's nothing in here. As though she could save you from... Over and over and over again, I heard my mother. Your own poor choices. Hmm. I can't thank for my own fate. I've gotten away with no consequences. In the dead of night, over and over again. This handwriting is so familiar. The day has finally come, and I don't intend on looking back. I'm choosing my own path, one that'll take me far away from this nightmare. If the only way out is to take that fiend's invitation, then so be it. I will join him, I will entrust myself to him. All for a single chance at happiness. A single chance at happiness? Hmm. Okay, so that's to unlock New Game Plus, but I got it before because if you complete the game, you get access to that end room where it automatically completes the blue door if you go to the very end. I'm pretty sure that should be all the endings there are.